All right, welcome to Advanced Ezra Trig. The first chapter in uh, this textbook is uh, the prerequisite chapter. So this is stuff you should already know, but what we're going to do is just cover it again just to fill in any gaps you might have in your background knowledge. And also there are going to be some, some things in here that maybe you've never seen before. So uh, yeah, the first section in the prerequisite chapter is algebraic expressions, mathematical models, and real numbers. So we're going to learn how to evaluate algebraic expressions, use mathematical models, find the intersection of two sets, the union of two sets, recognize the subsets of real numbers, use inequality symbols, evaluate absolute value, use absolute value to express distance, identify properties of real numbers, and simplify algebraic expressions. As you can see in the title of this section, the first thing we're going to do is talk about the similarities and differences between expressions, equations, and inequalities. So first thing, expressions, equations, inequalities, the first thing we're going to do is look at their appearance. So we're basically looking at this line right here when we're talking about that. So the way you can tell you have an expression is there is no equal sign. So no equal sign in, in uh, these right here. So just make sure you know that there's no equal sign. However, when you're dealing obviously with an equation, you'll have an equal sign. And anytime you're dealing with inequalities, you'll have an inequality. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, any of the four. So next thing we're going to be talking about is this row right here, which is basically the directions. So with an expression, what you'll be asked to do, there are usually two, simplify, or the other one could be to evaluate. So simplify or evaluate. And as you can see within equations, uh, the directions will be to solve, where inequalities will also have the exact same directions. And uh, the next category right here, this third line, is basically what our answers will look like. Well, uh, for an expression, you'll basically have the simplified form. Now it's going to take on two different appearances. It's going to be, if you have a numerical uh, expression, you'll be able to basically work it down into where you just have one simplified number. So it'll just be one term, you'll have like 7 or negative 3 or the square root of 8 or whatever it might be. Uh, that's if you have a numerical expression. If you have an algebraic, you'll usually have numbers and variables like 2x plus 9, uh, 7x plus 21. Uh, with an equation, you usually get x is equal to some number, and you can have one, two, three, four, however many solutions, and that's usually going to be based on the degree of the polynomial. So if you have a degree of two, you usually have two solutions. If you have a degree of one, you'll have one solution. Next is inequalities. With an inequality, you'll have x is greater than some number or less than some number, or greater than or equal to, less than or equal to those numbers. And this is different than an equation because now we have an infinite number of solutions. Uh, when we're dealing with expressions, uh, the way we solve, so this last thing is basically what we're going to do to try to come up with our solution, our answer, in our uh, problems. Uh, so to get our simplified form, we're going to use order of operations to do that. Uh, so obviously, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And we're, we're also going to combine like terms. So if you have an algebraic expression, you can put x's together, x squared together, things like that. With equations, we're going to do order of operations backwards. Okay, so we're going to start with the last thing. So if we multiply first and then add, we're going to get rid of the addition first. And the way we do that is we use the inverse of the operation. So we would subtract to get rid of addition. To get rid of the multiplication, you would divide. The directions or the steps to solve an uh, inequality are going to be the same as an equation. It's just the one thing you need to remember when you're doing those is anytime you multiply or divide by a negative, it will flip your inequality. We'll talk about that later on when we get more into inequalities.